Good evening, I'm Craig Norwich along with former Calgary Flames Captain Todd Simpson in beautiful sunny Anaheim, California for Game 5 of the NHL Stanley Cup Finals. Ducks lead the series 3-1. to one. Todd, Ottawa doesn't win this game, they go home. Well, Ottawa needs to get more physical. They need to get along the boards and win some of those battles. But most importantly, they need to dance with the girl that brought them to the ball. And that girl is the top line of Spezza, Healy and Alfredson. And right now, the first three, four games of the series, she's been looking a little frumpy. So what they need to do is get that going. Heatley needs to get in front in position where he can get that shot off. Uh, you know, get gritty. That's where he scored his goals all season. Jason Spezza needs to find his, his, his space. He needs to get more comfortable, find that time and space where he can make those passes and make those great moves. Alfredson, I think he's been the best of the three. He's been working hard, but it's been tough, you know, carrying those two guys, and there hasn't been a whole lot of success. They need to get, pick it up for game five. Let's talk a little bit about goaltending. You know, obviously great goaltending is uh, paramount for any team's success, but in the Stanley Cup Finals, it becomes exponentially more important. Give me your impressions of the two goaltenders, Jaguar and Emery, up to this point, Todd. Well, I think, I think Jaguar has dominated so far. He's been there. He's won the Conn Smythe. He's just so calm. He's so cool in there collected. It looks like he's just at the, at the kitchen sink drying the dishes. You know, he's always in position. Everything, everything seems easy to him, and, and I think that helps him a lot. On the other hand, Ray Emery, who I think has played well, but you know, just decent. And this is a Stanley Cup final. You need great goaltending to win the Stanley Cup final. He's been, you know, kind of out of position. You know, it looks like he's playing Marco Polo, fishy out of water there a couple times. So he needs to pull it together, be more consistent, and really make some huge saves and fire up his team and give them a great chance to win. Let's talk a little bit about the defense. We'll move out to the blue line. Let's talk about Anaheim first. The big horses, Pronger, Niedermeyer, and Boschman's been having a good series as well. Well, these guys, I mean, how can you not like having two uh, Norris Trophy winners on your defense? Scott Niedermeyer, he's been here before. This is his fifth Stanley Cup final, and it looks like it. I mean, he's just controlling the play, his skating, his speed. And then you got Chris Pronger. He's been a huge factor, just so mean, tough, physical. And, you know, I think Ottawa's intimidated by him. They're not sure how to handle him a lot of the time. And the third guy in that group is Francois Beauchemin. He doesn't get enough credit. This guy is a real good player. He's been hit physical, moving the puck, logging a lot of big minutes. But you know, you know, if you're if you're playing defense with a maestro, and that maestro is Scott Niedermeyer, it makes your job a lot easier. You look a lot better. You know, if I got to play with Scott Niedermeyer, I still might be in the league today. Let's talk a little bit about Ottawa's defense. Are they getting the job done? And if they aren't, what do they need to do to get a win for their team tonight? You know, I think in this case, less is more. Ottawa needs to, the defense, you know, they just need to sit back and keep it simple. Make sure they're moving the puck out, spending no time in their end. Get the puck up to their forwards so they can do the damage. You know, they need to frustrate, that, frustrate the Anah Anaheim's forwards and take control. And just keep it simple and maybe, you know, chip in a little bit of goals here and there. Let's go up to the forward lines. And, you know, we've all talked about Team Owen McDonald, but I think we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about Ryan Getzloff and Corey Perry. First-year NHL guys having a great series. Boy, what do you got to say about those guys? Are they doing the job, in your opinion? Huh. I mean, these two guys have all the tools, but I think what is most important is they have the toolboxes to do it. They've got a great heads on their shoulders. The whole you know, scene of being in a Stanley Cup final in their you know, first full year in the league, it hasn't phased them. They've been under control. They've made good decisions. And most importantly, I mean, they've controlled the play. When they're on the ice, the puck is usually down in Ottawa's end. They're working the corners, and they come out, and they score big, timely goals. The future for these two guys is fantastic. Let's talk about coaching for a minute. Brandy Carla, everything he seems to do works out. What about Brian Murray? What adjustments and changes could he make or should he make to give his team a chance to stay in this series? Well, you know, people talk about breaking up that top line. I mean, I have a tough time, and I think he's having a tough time to do it. They dominated all regular season, the first three rounds of the playoffs. You might see them move a guy here or there. But what Brian Murray needs is he needs his secondary scoring to step up. He needs a second, third, fourth line, maybe a defenseman to chip in. That's what Anaheim is getting, and that's going to take a little of the pressure off the, uh, the top line of Ottawa. Folks, this is what every NHL player dreams about since he was a little boy, getting into the Stanley Cup Finals and getting his name on that unbelievable trophy, the most difficult trophy to win in all of sports, the Stanley Cup playoffs. It's going to be a great game, and we hope to see you back for the post-game show. I want to thank Todd Simpson for his expert analysis, and let's have a great one.